Hi, I'm Mick Milam, Director of Community Programs at Arizona Byrne Foundation. We want to thank you um, for choosing to use the Milo and Moxie Smart Safety Rangers program for reaching out to the children in your community to teach them about burn prevention and fire safety. We have found that this program is so effective in being able to reach children with that message. Um, it's been endorsed by both the Arizona firefighters and endorsed by the Arizona Burn Center as being highly effective in teaching children that message. So let me talk to you about the program itself. Um, first, I want to talk to you about what comes in the curriculum kit itself. So in your curriculum kit is, comes in this large canvas bag that has all the materials you need to reach 1,000 children with the, the Milo and Moxie Smart Safety Rangers program. Um, inside this kit, um, we have the large book that is used in the classroom setting. Um, this large book was designed so that you could be in a classroom with 25, 30 children and read to them the Milo and Moxie Smart Safety Rangers book and in that be able to teach them all the messages. Um, you see that the book itself is large, 18 inches by 24 inches. It's colorful, it's bright, it grabs children's attention. And so every one of your kits has this to use in the um, classroom setting. In your kit as well, is a set of flashcards to be used to do various and assorted games with the children um, to teach them and reinforce the message of um, burn prevention and fire safety. In your kit as well is a teaching guide. It's a really simple piece, just two pages long, that gives you some hints on what you can do in presenting Milo and Moxie in a classroom. It also lets you know that all of Milo and Moxie Smart Safety Ranger does meet the Arizona College and Career Readiness Standards for K through second grade education. Then in your kit, um, for the classrooms that you teach in, um, we have some leave behind materials for you. Um, first is the large soft cover book of Milo and Moxie Smart Safety Rangers. It's exactly like the large hardbound book that you use to read to the children, but we leave this behind in the classroom so the teacher can read the story over and over again to the children and reinforce the message. Now this book is printed in both English and in Spanish, so you can choose to leave whichever language you'd like in the classroom. For the classroom teachers as well, we have this leave behind big two foot by three foot poster that tells you all of the safety rules that are taught in the Milo and Moxie Smart Safety Rangers program. So those are a leave behind in the classroom. And then for the kids themselves, we have the Milo and Moxie Smart Safety Ranger activity book and parent guide. Now the key to this book is that not only does it have coloring pages and activity pages for the children, but it also has a parent guide. Um, so it gives safety tips for parents on what to do um, to keep their children safe in their home. It comes in both English and Spanish. This direction is in Spanish. You flip it over, it's the English version. So it's a bilingual piece to go home with every one of the children. And then we have stickers of Milo and Moxie Smart Safety Rangers that have rule number one, know what's hot, that can be given to every single child. You know how children are with stickers. They love to get those. Um, they get all excited to have a sticker to, to wear home. And then for parents that may be present in any of your presentations, uh, you might be doing an open house at your fire station, or perhaps um, you're an outreach in some hospital setting or at some learning center in the community, and parents and children are both alike uh, there. We have a small version of the Milo and Moxie Smart Safety Rangers book as well that you can give to every single parent um, so they can read the story over and over again to their children in their home. So that's all the materials there are in the curriculum kit that you can use um, for teaching the Milo and Moxie Smart Safety Ranger program. And what I want to do next is I want to be able to show you how this program can be used. We designed it originally to be used for preschool through fifth grade children in a classroom setting. So we designed this curriculum with this large 18 by 24 inch reader that the presenter would read to the children in the classroom. It was designed that way so that we would be able to work with smaller groups of children making sure that the messaging was getting across to them of burn prevention and fire safety. However, we've also made an animated version of Milo and Moxie Smart Safety Rangers that you can use in a large auditorium. And even in that animated version, we have games that you can play at the end of the story um, with the children in a large auditorium. Hi, I'm Jack. I'm with the Arizona Burn Foundation. And I'm just going to take some time to show you 
how we use our large book to implement Mylon Moxie in the classroom. First thing that you'll notice when you open the book is that the 14 safety rules are written on the inside page. It's not necessary to go over with this with the kids at first. Um, however, you can quickly glance over them, maybe talk about the important ones, because later on in the book, there's actually flaps on the inside that go over each rule individually in each room. So the book starts off, introduces the characters, Milo and Moxie. And you also see here the flaps that I was just talking about on the last page. You can see they have the different rules on them. So rule number one, know what's hot. And rule number two, remember the safe zone. And then if you flip over each flap, there's actually items on each flap um, with individual items in each room that the kids can, you can ask the kids to pick out each hot item in the room. They can pick it out and the answer's on this, this part of the flap. So the story starts off in the kitchen with rule number one, know what's hot. Rule number two, remember the safe zone. It's important to talk about the safe zone around the oven. You can see this dotted line here, support to let kids know to stay away from that area, especially if someone's cooking in the kitchen, because more than likely something's probably hot around that area. Next, you have rule number three, don't push buns or turn knobs. Again, this is important. Um, you can talk about the safe zone as well. Uh, but just tell, tell kids, um, especially to be mindful, to not play with the oven, it's not a toy, the knobs aren't toys, and to be careful around the oven especially. Because more and more kids every year are coming in with burns from the kitchen, scald burns, from grabbing a pot when they're curious and dumping it on themselves, or touching a hot stove. Next, you have rule number four, where there's steam, there's heat. The next rule we have is rule number five, hot liquids burn like fire. And rule number six, stay away from heaters and fireplaces. It's important to talk about kitchen table manners on this page, especially to not reach over the table um, because something could be hot in the middle and to be careful and mindful to not spill items on yourself or hot bowls or soups. Next, you have rule number seven, Never play with cords, wall sockets, or cleaners. This is very important to talk about. We were actually asked by the Burn Center to implement this part into the book specifically, um, especially in regards to cleaners, because year after year, more and more kids are coming in with chemical burns from playing with items underneath the sink that aren't put up high. It's important to let them know to not play with things that they don't know what they are, especially cleaners and stuff found underneath the sink. Then you have rule number eight, have an adult check the water temperature. Again, you can talk about the, the rule about where there's steam, there's heat, and let them know if they see steam coming from the faucet, it's probably hot and they should get an adult to check it and make sure it's safe for them to get in. Next, you have rule number nine. If you see a fire, get out quickly. Along with this rule, you can also talk about a, a smoke alarm. If you hear a smoke alarm go off, the same thing applies, to get out as quickly as you can and not look for pets or your favorite toy and find the quickest escape route that you talked about with your family and meet in the meeting place that you talked about as well. And then you also have rule number 10, if smoky, crawl to safety. And if you are on fire, stop, drop, and roll. Um, again, here you can also talk about, um, along with the escape route, if they do feel a door's hot, use the back of their hand. And if it is warm, to go out a window or another escape route. Next, you have rule number 11, stay away from outdoor barbecues and fire pits. This is especially important during summer months when people are outside barbecuing during the holidays and there's fire pits around. You need to let the kids know, be mindful of their surroundings and to be safe around fire pits especially. And then you have rule number 12, wear sunscreen, hats, and shoes outside. This is important because more and more kids are running outside um, on hot pavement, especially during the hot summer months and getting burns on their feet. Uh, it's important to let them know to wear shoes and to wear sunscreens and hats as well. Next, you have rule number 13, don't play with matches or lighters. Again, here you can also talk to the older kids. We like to talk about accelerants and gasoline to not play with those like toys, and they're very dangerous, and to emphasize that to little kids and, or to the older kids and let them know that it's not safe to play with those items. And then you have rule number 14, if you see a fire, call 911. It's also important to talk about to not go back into the house, again, to find toys or your favorite pet. But the first thing you should do is stay out and call 911. That way the firefighters can come in and save your pets or your toys and 
keep your house safe. And then finally, while we talked about fire, the dangers of fire and fire safety, we also like to end with it with them at a campfire scene and let them know that while fire is dangerous, it can also be a good thing and for you to enjoy as well. The book is written in prose um, and it has a really smooth flow to it. And so I would say that as you are preparing to teach it in a classroom, it's very important that you'd read the book over two or three times yourself so that you're comfortable with it and you can feel the rhythm of how it goes in a classroom. It'll help you as you present it to the children in a classroom. Also want to let you know that in the Milo and Moxie Smart Safety Ranger program that once you've taught the book, you can pick up these flashcards and then begin to teach the children um, all these safety messages using some games that you can play with the flashcards. If it's a preschool class, I like to just go through the flashcards themselves and let them scream out for me, is this a hot item or a not hot item? Um, a blender, you know, it's, it's not a hot item. A coffee pot, that's a hot item that they should stay away from. Campfire, that's a hot item that they should stay away from. The microwave, not talked about this in the book, so I like to take an opportunity to talk to children about microwaves, and they should always have a, an adult take things out of a microwave because you never know just how hot something might be inside the microwave. Talk about tea kettles, and when you see steam, there's heat. Soup, always going to be hot, and hot liquids burn like fire. Um, and then we get to some of the other things that aren't so hot, um, like a popsicle. That's always cold, and kids always like to laugh about popsicles not being hot. So I do that with preschoolers. In an elementary class, I'll divide up all these flashcards, and I tell them to get into small groups, and I'll have them uh, then within that small group talk about what's hot and what's not as an interactive game for them. And then before I leave the classroom, I like to tell the children that we're going to send home with them the activity book today. And what's important about the activity book is that there's a parent guide in here for their parents. And so I want to point out to them to make sure mom or dad or the adult in their home sees the parent guide and knows um, that they can have some safety tips in them. And then I like to point out to them that in this activity book, when they're home tonight, they want to talk about the fire escape plan in their home. So I tell them they're going to draw the picture of their house and all the rooms in their house and they're going to look at all the fire, all the ways to get out of their home, the escape plan to get out should the smoke alarm go off, and then where the meeting place will be, and that they need to do that when they get home today with the adults in their home. Um, so the activity book will go home with them. And then we provide stickers for all the children as well um, that have Milo or Moxie on them, um, and then talk about um, the number one rule, which is know what's hot, and we'll give that to them. And then, of course, the leave behind for the classroom teacher is always important. Um, they love being able to get things for their classroom. And so when they get a two foot by three foot poster, um, whether the children can read all this or whether the children can memorize all this is really secondary. Um, what's important is that they will see Milo and Moxie in these rules and they'll be, they'll be reminded of the message they heard in the classroom about burn prevention and fire safety. And so we leave that behind for the classroom teacher as well as the big soft cover book for them so that they can read the book over and over again to their classroom. So those are things that are left behind um, for that classroom. Once you've presented in a classroom, one of the things that we ask of you um, as an Arizona partner is that you would make sure that you report back to us the data of the children that you've reached. And so on our website at azburn.org forward slash mmforms, um, there's a web page where you can go and right there there's very simple instructions on how you can report the data back to us. There's a place where it says report form here. You click on that and it takes you to a page where you're going to put the name of the place where you presented and how many children you reached. Um, you hit submit and it goes straight into our database so that we'll know how many children in Arizona are being reached. On that page as well, um, you can order more materials. So there's a place where it says order here. You click on that, an order form comes up. You can tell us how many mini readers or activity books or soft cover big books or stickers you need. You submit that. We will contact you and let you know we've received your order and let you know just how quickly we'll be able to get those materials to you. If you ever have any questions, of course, you can reach out to us at the Byrne Foundation as well. I'm at programs at azburn.org or 602-230-2041. Again, I want to thank you for adopting the Milo and Moxie Smart Safety Ranger 
for reaching out to the children in your community. I know that as you use this program to reach children in your community, you're making your community safer, and we are going to lower the number of children that have burn injuries in our communities. Again, thank you so much.